I'm excited guys, to say the least. We're on a adventure of a lifetime. All right, so welcome back to Spain's Kitchen. Today we are going to use the pit barrel cooker to cook pork ribs. So right now we're gonna, we're gonna take the film off, off the ribs here. It's always best to get that film off Get your seasoning in there. Uh, I'm gonna also say this is the first time I've ever smoked. Last weekend I smoked a brisket. Turned out pretty good. You know, you know, I, I learned a lot. I think that's that's kind of what this process is all about, is learning. So uh, and so in this weekend, this is my my next project. So anyway, we're gonna go to the next step and uh, take the film off the ribs and we'll go to that shot. <laughs> Use a paper towel and a butter knife. Step we're going to do, we're going to take it to the sink, rinse off any bone residue and stuff like that. So let's do that. All right, we're going to rinse it off with cold water. Cold water. All right. All right, now we'll just dry it off. All right, now another option you can do is kind of trim it up a little bit, but I'm not. But it is an option, trim the you know, excess fat and stuff like that. Uh, now we're going to use we're going to use what came with the pit barrel cooker, which is the beef and game pit rub. All right, we're going to put a little bit on the, the front side. That that tell you I've never done this before. So <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to put as much on this side. I don't want it to be too salty. My uh, brisket was a tad salty. All right, there we go. So we got the ribs seasoned up. I'm excited, ready to get the grill going here in a minute. But I think the next step we're gonna do, we're gonna get our hook and we're gonna get it placed where we want it. So we're gonna use the thick side of the meat here and go two ribs down and we will go in through the back side, all right? Just like this. Just try to poke yourself. All right, here we go. So one down, one more to go. All right, got them hooked in there, ready to go. Now the next step is, is to, I'm gonna go out there and get the pit barrel fired up, get it ready to go, and then we'll get the ribs hanging. Getting cooking. Yeah, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna laugh about this. Uh, you know, I told you, <laughs> I told you I was like, uh, hey, you know, the pit barrel didn't come with a chimney, so I had to improvise and use my electric starter. Well, guess what? I didn't pick one up yesterday. What does that mean? That means I'm gonna improvise once again. But I I think it worked good last time, so not a big deal. But it's just a side note. I thought you guys were gonna. Get a kick out of that. So as you can tell, I, I've also got my other improvised, you know, design here, which is the tin foil on the bottom of it, which worked really good. Just was able to just pop it out, throw it away, dusted it off, was able to reuse it, so that's nice. I don't know, I'm a clean freak. You know, if you don't believe me, watch my uh, my OCD and me video. That little that'll show you, give you a little bit of insight on uh, the uh, clean freak within me. So, it takes a minute to warm up. So another side note, uh, just to let you guys know, last time when we did the brisket, I used the meat thermometer, which it worked great. I mean, it was it was nice to be able to, you know, have a visual aid there. And not have to open the lid 
and all that. So it was it was it was awesome. Uh, this time uh, I'm just gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm not, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna. Uh, they recommend like three hours, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna cook them for two hours. I'm gonna set my timer, and uh, in two hours I'll come check, and then we'll just go from there. So uh, we're we're just gonna use a visual aid, you know, until visually it looks like it's done. So this time I'm gonna take off the training wheels. So <laughs> you know. It's gonna be interesting. Wish me luck, guys. I hope uh, hope we don't mess this one up. All right, looks good. I think we're ready to hang the meat. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang them on this, this side right here. All right, we're golden. We're good to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set my timer for two hours. We'll come out here and do a little check. And then we'll uh, we'll go from there. All right, it has been exactly two hours. I'm gonna pop the lid up and see what it looks like, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, they weren't very big ribs, so I'm thinking we'll go to the next step. All right, so I took the ribs off. I brought them in the kitchen, checked them out, and I think I'm gonna let them go for another 25 minutes. Uh, it just, it still doesn't seem tender, you know, so I think we're gonna give it another 25 minutes and then we'll check it out again. All right. I think that looks a lot better. We're gonna start putting barbecue sauce on it. Well, it sure is looking good, isn't it? What we're gonna do now, we're going to baste it with some barbecue sauce. <clears throat> and then once we do that, we're going to put it back on the pit barrel cooker for an additional 25 minutes. last weekend uh, decided to uh, break out some pork ribs that I had I've had for a while and you know they're they're pretty small ribs you know they're they're not very not very big and once again I don't know it just it didn't have the texture that I wanted you know it, it wasn't fall off the bone it was not tough but kind of in between tough and fall off the bone it was I don't know. I was, I was I was a little disappointed, but you know what I mean. I, I'm I'm hard on myself. You know I I want to uh, do a good job, but you know hey, that's what this is all about: was learning. 